How to open a wine bottle without a corkscrew. Imagine a beautiful day, a perfect picnic, a special someone, a loaf of bread, some cheese and a bottle of wine and... Wait, no corkscrew? No problem. Here are a few ideas to get that bottle of vino open and the wine flowing. Pulling with household implement. Try pulling the cork out using one of the following methods. Work carefully to ensure that the cork does not break apart into smaller pieces. Also, make sure that any objects which come into contact with the cork are clean. Dirty objects increase the likelihood of tainting your wine. Find a screw and pliers. The wider the distance between threads on the screw, the better. Turn the screw into the cork of the wine bottle until there is about half an inch, 1.2 centimeters, sticking out. Use the pliers to pull the screw out, the cork should come with it. The claw, nail pulling side, of a hammer also works well in place of the pliers. Use a pocket knife or a paring knife. The blade has to fit easily into the neck of the bottle. Some sources recommend using a serrated knife. Note, if you are using the knife to pry the cork out from the side, make sure you put slow even pressure on the fulcrum the easily breakable rim of the opening. If using the fulcrum method, it works best to grip the bottle neck with your free hand slightly below the knife, using your fingers as the fulcrum. Moving your grip up as the cork comes up. This is similar to opening a beer bottle with a pocket lighter. Carefully work the knife back and forth into the cork, using very little downward pressure. With the blade buried in the cork, twist the cork back and forth, with a slight pull, and slowly work it out. Get a cheap wire coat hanger and bend the hook part out straight. Use pliers to make a little hook by bending the last half inch, 10 millimeters, back until it makes an angle of about 30 degrees, a bit like a fish hook. Push the wire down beside the cork until the little hook is below the cork. Rotate the wire 90 degrees so the hook can grab the bottom of the cork and pull it out. You might want to wear gloves, as the wire can hurt your fingers. Find a bicycle hook, the kind used to hang bikes from rafters. Screw it into the cork. Using the vinyl coated hook as a handle, pull the cork out, away from your body. Use a leather boot lace. Tie an overhand knot in the end of the lace. Push the knot down the side of the cork with any sharp object until it is below the bottom of the cork. Wrap the rest of the lace round your hand and then slowly pull the lace and cork out. If the knot pulls through, tie a bigger knot. Get two paper clips and a pen. Partially straighten the paper clips, leaving the U-shapes intact. Work one of the smallest into the bottle between the glass and the cork. You can push on the larger U-end with another object, until the free end of the U is below the cork. Rotate the wire 90 degrees so that this hook will penetrate the cork when you pull up. Repeat on the opposite side of the cork with a second paper clip. Straighten the two larger U-shapes and twist the ends together a few times. Insert a suitable utensil, spoon handle, pen barrel, pencil, etc., under the twisted wires. Slide your fingers under the utensil, with the wires between your middle and ring fingers, and slowly pull out the cork. Use a corn cob holder. Intended for holding a hot piece of well-buttered corn on the cob, it consists of a knob and three pins. Insert the pins into the cork. Gently pull up, while slowly rotating your hand from side to side. Use a Forstner bit. If you have a Forstner bit used for woodworking, screw the top on, check if it's firm, then pull. Use a screw and corn cob holder. In this method, you're just replacing the pliers with the corn cob holder, making a T-shape. The screw being the L, horizontal, and the corn cob holder being the dash. Make sure the corn cob holder is thinner than the flat end of a small to medium threaded screw. Gently twist the screw at least 75% of the way through the cork. Place the corn cob holder to where the prongs are hugging the screw. The screw is in the middle. Place the index and middle fingers on the prongs and handle respectively, and pull up. Pushing on the cork. Pierce the cork all the way through. This relieves the pressure as you push it in. 
Place the bottle on the floor or a steady surface. Push the cork down using a long rod, thick marker, highlighter, dry erase, etc., a cylindrical container of chapstick, or slim knife sharpener. Carabiners work well, too. Point the opening away from people, just in case wine sprays out. Alternatively, you can use a key to push in the cork, but the technique is slightly different. Work it in between the cork and the edge of the bottle. This will let off pressure gradually and the widening key will eventually force the cork into the bottle. Pour a glass and enjoy. Pushing on the bottle. Find a sturdy stick with blunt ends, narrower than the cork that will not stab, shatter, burst, chip, or break the bottle from rough handling. A cheap white ballpoint pen or a basic marker, in each case with the cap on, will work well. Set the stick against the cork, which is usually already recessed slightly into the bottle's neck. If the cork is flush with the end of the bottle, push on the stick by hand to force it in a little. Set the other end of the stick against a vertical surface and push on the bottle's wide base to force the cork in easily. Hold the neck and stick area and the other end of the stick to prevent slipping. The surface should be strong and with a surface that will not dimple, or protect it like a wall padded with some junk mail. The surrounding area, and the opener's clothes, should be stain-resistant as a little wine may spill. Don't try this with red wine and a nice outfit, or over a carpet. Have some napkins handy, you may wish to wrap one around the neck stick area as you push. Wine bottles are pretty sturdy, but you can reduce the risk of injury if one were to break by wrapping it in heavy cloth or paper before messing with it. As the cork approaches the surface of the wine, tilt the bottle and stick upward so that only now pressurized air, not wine, can squeeze out past the entering cork. Hammer Find three five short finishing nails, one hammer, and a good hand. Ideally, you will want the nails to reach just to the bottom of the cork. Gently hammer the nails in a line, keeping them in close proximity. Use the claw end of hammer, and your thumb as a leverage point. Pry the nail embedded cork out of bottle. If at first the cork does not come out, hammer nails in again in a perpendicular line from the original line and try again. Pour a glass at